Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Caden Kubler and welcome to Caden's Corner. A few years ago, Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers dominated the NFL, making the most dynamic duo in the league. Well, we saw a few days ago when Adams went on Shannon Sharp's podcast, he hinted at a potential reunion with Aaron Rodgers. If I'm gonna be reunited with anybody, it would be Aaron. Okay. But I, or, or be, you know, relocated and be anywhere it would be with Aaron. With the new Netflix receiver show dropping, you saw the frustration with Devontae Adams playing with different quarterbacks last season. Adams' production went down significantly when he ultimately left the Packers for a bigger contract going to the Raiders. But a few years later, with both of these players on different teams, I think a reunion is very possible. If you're the New York Jets, you have to look at it plain and simple. There's a lot of pressure on this team, its players, its coaching staff, everybody involved. When New York made this move to go get Aaron Rodgers last season, it put them in immediate contention. But we all know what happened with Aaron Rodgers tearing his Achilles on the fourth play of the season and everything went south. Now the margin for error for the Jets is even more slim. Looking at some of the moves that they made this offseason, you could tell that they wanted to bulk up this offensive line. They went after two veteran tackles in Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. They also helped out that receiving core, going for a really good jump ball threat and one of the more underrated receivers in the league in my opinion in Mike Williams. When the Jets got Rodgers last offseason, they immediately became a contender. And as of right now, they're a serious threat in the AFC. But if the Jets want to become a legitimate Super Bowl contender, they have to trade for Devontae Adams. Now I get it. Devontae Adams is a 31-year-old wide receiver who's being paid nearly $30 million per year. It's not like you're going to be able to give up a fifth or a sixth round pick for this guy too. You're probably going to have to give up a second round pick or maybe even a first round pick. But in my opinion, the Jets need to do this. I've heard the potential negative to this is that they're mortgaging their future. Who cares? Aaron Rodgers is going to have one to two elite years left in his career. Career. The Jets have one of the best defenses in football, and they have young playmakers on the offensive side of the ball in Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson that are just waiting to explode. Right now, I'm looking at the AFC, and I have the Chiefs, Bengals, Ravens, Texans, and Bills all in front of the Jets as of right now. I think if the Jets are aggressive and go out and get Devontae Adams, they could absolutely surpass any of these teams this season. Looking at this wide receiver room, your number three receiver, Xavier Gibson. Now, nothing against this guy, but if you go out there and get Devontae Adams, that's going to move Mike Williams to the number three, which is an amazing option. Now, another potential thing to think about here is Mike Williams has been one of the most injury prone receivers in the league over the past few seasons. If he goes down midway through the season and misses some time, this wide receiving core is looking very thin in my opinion. Looking at this Jets roster, I still believe Aaron Rodgers can play at an elite level. I believe running back Brees Hall is due for a huge breakout season after some of the injuries he's faced. I also believe that Garrett Wilson is going to make an emergence as a top 10 receiver in the league. Looking at Mike Williams, we all know how talented he is when he's on the field. I think this offensive line is going to play a lot better this season with both veteran tackles that they added. And on the defensive side of the ball, this might be a top three unit in the league coached by Robert Sala. I'm of the mindset right now that the Jets have no margin for error. There's a lot of pressure on Robert Sala, Aaron Rodgers, and everybody on this team. Forget mortgaging your future to trade for Devontae Adams. There is no future in two years past Aaron Rodgers. The Jets need to go all out. Devontae Adams clearly wants to play with Aaron Rodgers again and be on a legitimate contender. We all saw how unhappy he was with the Raiders last season. Not to mention, New York plays at San Francisco week one of the NFL season. If they start 0-1, which they more than likely will, the margin for error just continues to shrink. With the amount of talent that's in the AFC, let alone in their own division, the Jets need to make this move if they want to be legitimate Super Bowl contenders. I'm Caden Kubler, and that's my take.